have anything do you have? No, bro. I think I think I remember a couple of them. Alright. Um so how long have you been doing music? Uh this is my second year, man. Second year? My second year, yeah. My like first year. giving it a try out to the world or just like in the general? first time I ever recorded a song was two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah, man. Um Initially, I decided to start recording music because my boy, my, my little cousin Serrani, when he lived at me at one point, was listening to some trash rapper. I don't know who it was, yeah. bro. So I can't just say, oh, such and such a trash rapper. Yeah. I don't remember exactly who it was. But um, I was like, man, this dude's trash. And he's like, oh, man, we still making money. I'm like, okay, they are. That makes sense. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I kind of had in my head that I wanted to start recording one day, but that wasn't like the start of it. So, my boy Enzo, I've known my boy Enzo, we go back and just work at Discover together for some, for some years back. Yeah. And then one summer, we just happened to link back up. And, you know, he's, he's always been recording music as long as I've known him. Okay. You know, since I moved back to Utah yeah. about six years ago. And um, he was like, hey, bro, you come on, let's hang out, whatever. I'll, be, I'll, I'll just be in the studio, just come on through. I said, all right, man. Sure. So I came through the studio. It's like a couple of dudes there, and they, you know, they record, and everybody's, you can tell everybody there has been recording for a cool minute. Okay. Like, you know. They and so I'm kind of nervous, you know. I, I, the plan was never for me to record. Yeah. But I went over to go see my boy. It wasn't yeah. for me to record, you know. So, one day, I was like, man, let me, let me get us a try. Let me just try. I've always loved music. Yeah. You know. I was like, man, I love music, period. No matter what the genre is. If it's, if it's blues, if it's bluegrass, if it's rap, if it's... 80s rock, I don't care what it is, Music bro. is life. Music is life, bro. So I was like, all right, let me give it a try. And me and my boy Enzo did this song. And I don't remember we looked up, we looked up on YouTube like Rick Ross. Yeah. Or something like <laughs> that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah. look at Rick Ross. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. And then it was, uh, actually, I think it was my boy Chris Nito who actually, who came up with the idea of looking up the, the Rick Ross beat. Yeah. So we recorded it. The song actually has never been released. Like, I don't... I, my, I know he's got on his hard drive or something like that, but we never released a song. It wasn't bad. Yeah, I guess. It just wasn't, you know, it, it didn't make the project. I guess. You. you know, one day we might run it back and, and actually do it. Yeah. But um, after that, bro, it was just kind of like, okay, it's cool. I can give it a try. But I didn't get serious about it, about it until maybe like two months later, oh, yeah. where he had some homies come to the studio. And there was one guy, there's one guy there, I remember his name, because I only met him one time. Oh. But I looked at the dude and he was kind of like, you could tell dude wasn't like, not special, he was like a really average dude, you know? But he came in, did it one take and dipped. And I was like, damn. Yeah. And it took me like 24 takes to do a, to do a song. And I was like, I'm a very motivated person. Like, it's like, once I see somebody else do it, it's like, man, why not me? Yeah. Like, I'm just yeah. a flesh and blood just like me. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this a try and see if I can do it. And after that, me and my boy Enzo and my boy Chris, we just started by kind of churning out songs. And before we knew, we had I had my own project, man, heavy with my first uh, my first project. So. Okay. And for like, I'm not saying I'm not saying like get people to kiss your ass, but like fucking, what would you ask for the people, or what would you like to say to the people to like understand you better when? They want to get to know the your the singer you like the rapper you mm -hmm. and then just the regular you. Um, like I, I think they're one and the same, bro. Don't overlook it. Yeah, thing. Well, well, I I think it's there's parts of it. Like put it this way, um, there's a song that I have called Changes, right? Mm -hmm. And it's about relationships and stuff like that. Yeah, honest, now, I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't, I can't, I haven't listened to any of your songs. I wanted bro. to come and be, I have a fresh yeah, ear, exactly. just like the people that are watching. Exactly. That way we have the same exactly. reaction. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? So that's what um, I'm trying to do. But with Changes, Changes was kind of like a little R&B vibe, vibe, talking about relationships, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, asking why, why are we always going through these same, these same changes mm -hmm. in the same book on different pages. Uh, okay. You know? okay. But the fact is, like, the song wasn't about really my, my experiences. Yeah. It was my boys. My boys would be in relations like, man, my girl, this is snap. My girl, this is snap. Oh, so you're talking so, about like yeah, giving just them different advice scenarios. or yeah, like just being like, yeah, yo, yeah. bro, calm yeah, down. Yeah, just kind of like different, different scenarios they told me about in their relationship. Uh -huh. That I was like, shit, let me go ahead and like put different scenarios in the song and it came to be one complete song. Oh, shit. So it was, it was like, you know, for me, music is very influential to where 
uh, my music is me. I'm very transparent in the way that I go about making my music. Okay, yeah. But the fact is, um, it has got to be inspired, man. Whatever inspires me. Yep. But I would say my music and who William is as a person is the same person. Yeah. Like I, I still show my emotion if it's, if it's me talking about pro-black topics, if it's talking about my uh, my experiences living in Oklahoma, you know. Yeah. It's all my life. Yeah. So, and so, so since we're out here in Salt Lake City. It when everything, where were you when the, all these riots were going on? Bro, bro, so let me tell you where I was. I was downtown yeah. on that Saturday. Okay. I was there, bro. Okay. And so, um, actually, my cousin Dante was there too. Um, a few different people were out there, man. Yeah. And, you know, everybody was marching. I even came because initially they had like the caravan with the cars. People came through with their cars and you could kind of honk for support and stuff like that. I did yeah. that. And then I hopped out. By the time I hopped out, that's when everybody was talking about the view with the crossbow and everybody was dead. Yeah, yeah. I saw that video. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh bro, like I am not I'm not messing with this. So I was yeah. like I was like, man, they don't have the National Guard out here. I was like, I got I, I rob my strap with me all the time. I got I got my strap in the car. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I ain't trying to be in all that mess. But yeah, yeah I was there, man, on that Saturday. So, um, so fucking in LA, I was kind of like an activist type of person, yeah, yeah. and like out there, there's always there's always fucking marches. Yeah, yeah. So for me that day, like me and my homies were like, yeah, we're, let's go down there, let's go down there. But yeah. then we think about it, we're like, we're not in Cali, bro. <laughs> so we yeah, don't yeah. like we don't know if they're used to shit like yeah, this, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. So at the end of the day, once it's finished, people go, can go back to their fucking houses and just play it off moment. But yeah, so man, that, that, that day was crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, everybody was talking about Salt Lake City. This happened in Salt Lake City. Like, motherfuckers pulled that crossroads yeah, in, in Salt Lake City. Bow and arrows in Salt Lake City. I'm like, oh, man. Do you know Young Orbit? Nah, no, no, no. So his, his homie is a... Is a um, Moore or something? Mm -hmm. But... Um, they were they were the ones that fucking socked that guy up. <laughs> All I saw was the dude with the skateboard, bro. Yeah, that dude with the skateboard had me dead. Yeah, but yeah, man, that was uh, it was cool though. But, yeah, like, hell yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not. Like, I would have done the same shit. I would have let. Is, I'm not about to let this guy fucking Don't be at, at a, at a peaceful protest. Yeah, and you gonna pull out a bow and arrow and act like you ain't gonna get smacked on. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Yep. That's that. He, he brought that energy. Yeah, it was his passion. He brought that energy, bro. So, yep. you know, it is what it is. It is, bro. And so, all right, this next question is, now that you're you're moving forward with your music, who have you been featured with and who would you like to be featured with? You know? Man, you know, I'll be real. I'm willing to work with anybody. Yeah. Like for me, it's you just- You haven't worked with anybody? No, I'm saying I'm willing to work with anybody. Oh, you're willing to work yeah, with anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. On my project, really on who I ever worked with is my boy Enzo Enzo. and my boy uh, Chris Nito. Um, that's really it, cause yeah. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm real. I'm, I'm loyal to the people that I, that I know. You know, okay. loyalty is a, is a big thing, especially yeah. when it comes to music and it comes to people that are um, on the same page when it comes to moving forward in this music industry. Yeah. So, like I said, I'm willing to work with anybody. I just have. It. I, I stick to my my core group of, of uh, like minded Your individuals. Circle. And other than that, bro, we just make music. But like I said, I, I get people in my DMs that said, hey. I don't support you, Gavin. All right, cool, bro. Let me know. I'm always going to work. Yeah. But like I said, hit me up. I'm, I'm down for whatever, man. Yeah, bro. Because, like, when I came out here, it was like, I was just focused on working with by myself because I knew how to do it by myself. And so, like, I started, you know, meeting more people here, more people there. And so, um, so I met this one dude off of like Steel Strong Productions. Have you heard of them? Yeah. Yeah? Have you ever gotten anything off of them? No, no, no. no Have no, you heard no. anything about no, them? No, I've heard about them, but I don't know nothing about like their music like that. Not, not like, just like talk. No. Nah. No, nah. nah, I don't know nothing about them. Yeah, Bro, I, would say, I would say, I would say leave it alone. Put it this way, put it this way. When it comes to the music scene in Utah, yeah. the people that I know are people that I know through mutual individuals, but I just don't know everybody. Like I said, I didn't grow up out here. Like, yeah, I just I feel like, I just feel like when, I, when I came out here, the pe when I was around them, I mm -hmm. feel like it was the it gave yeah, it gave it like a bad image to represent Salt Lake mm -hmm. in Utah, bro. So this is what I'm trying to do, also like yeah, just yeah, develop yeah. other like you know yeah. just having opinions from everybody else and shit because exactly. yeah. they seem like too like too bossy in a way to where like 
they'll shut your dreams down and everything. And it's just like, what the Creative world? differences. You're inviting me to go work for you. Creative so differences. You're saying, like, yeah. And that's yep. And that's the thing. You know, with anybody's vision, everybody's vision is different. Yeah. You know, what what I think is the best move, what you think is the best move, who are you, like, work with, these the best move. Okay, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But it's either we're going to come through a mutual agreement, or we're gonna come to a situation where you gotta do what you wanna do and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it, it happens like that. Like that. Yeah, it happens like that, bro. Like, like, like I said, that. You, you gotta you gotta do what's best for you. Okay. So, I feel you know. Alright, so off that topic, let, let's play let's play your favorite song off of like what you've used so far. My favorite song? Yeah. Uh, bro. I'm gonna do the first song I released, bro. Or or let's just let's just keep Let's just keep the audience curious and just leave it on the link. Let people, let okay. people search your shit. Bad, 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 bad. I'm down yeah. with that. I'm down with that. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say the first song I ever, I ever uh, completed is called Depending On Me, bro. Yeah. Depending On Me is like um, probably my, my favorite because I remember the energy that I had that day and what it was like my first time like, completing a song. I love all my music. And again, for me, my music is music that I that I like. Yeah. I can't make music that everybody likes. I'm not. I'm, that's not my. That's not my objective. And you're gonna like it or you're not. Yeah. And the fact is, if you like it, if you like it, I love it. If yeah. you don't, that's cool. But I'm still gonna respect it. Talk shit. Yeah, yeah. Keep that yeah, shit yourself. Like, yeah, keep that shit yourself. <laughs> keep that shit yourself. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man. Like I said, I, I'm learning and growing. But like I said, my first song is always uh. One that's kind of near and dear to my heart, so yeah. I'll, I'll say my first song depending on me. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna need you to send me all that. Bad, bad. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it on the link, bro. I'm gonna want people to like <laughs> look you up and everything, bro. Bad, 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 bad. Actually, depending on we was depending on me was originally released as a single. Then I added it to my um, my first mixtape. Okay. So you can do the single or you can look at the mixtape. Either way, it's gonna be on there. On there. Yep. Alright, so this is just random fucking, like from the things that you do on the daily, the things that make William William, what, what are the things that you do that will like make you feel honored about yourself? You know? um, like it could be off the topic of music, just you in person. Like. Man, you know, I'm a person that like each day I try to have an objective. And like I don't try to like you know put all this pressure on myself. You know all I gotta do is by this date. You know. Yeah. Um, the things I need to take care of. I'm a grown ass man. I take care of my I take care of my bills. I take care of the things I need to take care of. Right. right? But at the end of the day, you know, I try to accomplish what I try to wake up and have an objective for the day. Yeah. If it's like I'm gonna finish this song. If it's I'm gonna listen to this many beats to try to find another song for the project. If it's like I'm a uh, I don't give a damn. So I'm gonna wash my car. You know, yeah. it's just like little stuff, man. And the thing is, like for me, I find I find solace in in small things. You know, and it gotta be extravagant. Thing, but like, oh, I wanted to fish my laundry today, bro. Yeah. So it's like that's you know? that's it, man. You know, like I said, anything else that I want out of life, it's gonna take time and effort and um, and um, dedication. I got all of it. So it just takes time and dedication and and, and not getting uh, too down on yourself. Staying yeah. humble. Yeah. Yeah. Just having some kind of drive, bro. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. honestly, like, we can be, we can overwhelm ourselves about being artists and like mm-hmm. saying our music's dope and shit. But like at the end of the day, we're people and shit. Mm-hmm. So fucking, like, yeah. a lot of people don't ex- don't don't express don't yeah. express themselves that exactly. way either. Like, exactly. they wouldn't be like, oh yeah, fuck it. Walking my dog and fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's concrete. Like and that's, and that's you know, cool. you know what, whatever. People call you cocky if you say if you say fuck yeah, I wash my laundry. <laughs> I wash my laundry. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stinky. Fuck bro, that. You get me? I feel I feel like bro. I feel even like out of the fact that I have a washer and dryer. Exactly. Like, why yeah. grew up? Why grew up? Why grew up? We was washing clothes in the motherfucking tub. Stepping on our clothes to wash, bro. Yeah. So it's like, you know, that, I find, I, matter of fact, I found pride in the fact that I just bought a new washer and dryer. Right. So it's like, bro, like when you've been, you know, homeless, when you've been, I've been in the there, gutter, bro. I've been there. You grateful for the small stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm great. Like, so it's like, yeah, you know, I'm looking each day. Shit. If I got food in the fridge, my bills is paid, and I'm working towards something that I need to work towards, mm-hmm. I'm straight. Yeah, bro. I'm straight. Mm-hmm. 
like not letting that fuck shit get in the way of that shit, Exactly, It just takes time and effort and dedication, man. And, and the only difference between, like, in the words of Big Crit, the only difference between the winner and the loser is a, uh, a winner plays until they win. So you just gotta keep playing until yeah. you win, bro. Yep. But, I mean, aside from that, which you, do you have anything in mind to talk about, you know? Like, man, I just wanna, I want people to give my music a chance. That's yeah. it, bro. Like, like I said, if you like it, you like it. And if you like it, I love it. Yeah. If you don't, I appreciate the sport and giving it a chance, man. Yeah, bro, like, so it's like, at the end of the day, you ain't never gonna catch me like, yo, check out my music. Oh, you listen to my music, this is snap. No, I'm not pressuring nobody to listen to my music. Yeah. Bro. That's number one. I, ha I hate pushing people. Like, don't push what you want on me. If, I, if I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna get done. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If I, was I like your music, like, yeah. if I like your music, I'm gonna mess with yeah. you consistently. Yeah, because like from my point of view, I know I know a lot of people want to fuck with me, mm -hmm. but because of me fucking with them, like it all comes down to me fucking with them. Like people know their bad, like their bad business. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to rebuild my reputation mm -hmm. and fucking. Like let let everybody know that I'm I'm not like they are. Like, exactly. I'm, like, like the, there's reasons why I left. Yeah. You know, there's reasons why I I'm, I can still do what I what I want to do by myself without yeah. anybody. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like so, solitude is when I. You know. For me, man, like I said, it's just um sometimes you gotta do stuff on on a solo, bro. It ain't it ain't a matter of you know who's gonna support you. It's about. Um, it's not a matter of not who, who's not gonna support you. I just, don't, I just don't want to hurt feelings like that sometimes, bro. Man, man feelings like opinions. Everybody got some. Yeah, that's what, yeah. I'm not I, saying. I'm not saying. Like, like you know, feel, you, know what, you can't. You can't. You can't please everybody. That's what. Yeah. You can't. You can't and the thing is, for me, I don't try, bro. Like, don't even try. Because at the end of the day, you, if you try to satisfy the person, you ain't being yourself. If you can go to one of your homies and every one of them agree with you. You niggas ain't real because yeah. the fact is, they can't all, you don't think the same. Like, what I think is the right thing, somebody else might think is wrong. Yeah. And that's fine. That's their opinion. But the fact is, my objective is not to please everybody. Because that's how you lose yourself. So, Facts. I don't know that. You heard it from William. Two I'm words. Just saying, man. I so, while you're making music, yeah. what's the creative process like? Oh. Uh, Originally, I would say I like to hear the beat first. Okay. I'll just go through if it's on YouTube, if it's on B Stars, one of them cases. I'll make a beat. I'll listen. Well, I'll listen to beats, and I'll just kind of like see what kind of mood I'm in. If it's like, oh, I want to hear something that's closer to the game, or something that's closer to Uzi or something that's closer to Drake, whatever the case is. Okay. Kind of like to be in that genre mindset, right? Yeah. And then after I hear, um, I'll just kind of goes with how it makes me feel. If it makes me feel like it should be more of an aggressive track, more laid back, whatever the case is. And at that point, I'll kind of like either decide if I want to be like a straight through, just like we're going to rap all the way through it, we're going to put a hook in it, or we're going to do, or how, depending on like if I make a song and the way that it makes me feel, I'll then decide what I want the song to be about. Uh, okay. It's kind of like depending on how the beat sounds, That'll decide on what kind of story I'm gonna tell on that beat. Okay. And what what have you mainly been like? Does it depend on the day or like how you feel? Yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty it, sure, right? Yeah, it could be like it could be in, I'm in a good mood, a bad mood, a mood yeah. where I want to test some shit up. You know. Well, usually, like, in what mood are you in when yeah. you usually write your music? Um, I'm trying to become inspired, man. Inspired, like, right? I'm trying to get inspired, like you know, if I hear a beat and like um. I, I like to tell stories. If I can tell okay. a story and... Um, yeah, I kind of noticed that from you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to tell stories. So if, if it's a story that I can tell over a certain beat or a certain, a certain cadence, like, I just want to feel inspired no matter what I'm in. Okay. So whatever inspires me, that's what the song's going to be about. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> and so for the, for the artists that haven't been out here in Salt Lake oh, yeah. to perform, mm -hmm. What venues do you recommend? Or what uh, venues have, let's start off with what venues have you gone to first? Mm -hmm. Outside of outside of Utah, if you yeah. have gone? Yeah. And freaking, and then just recommend, you know what I'm saying? Man, I, I'll be real. I'm kind of a, um, I like um, concert, like series. Like Life is Beautiful, Coachella, 
stuff like South oh, by Southwest, yeah. um, stuff like that. Um, you know, it just depends on the artist, man. If I, I what, what depends for me if I'm going to see a concert, it's like, you know, who's playing, you know, who's going to be the headliner and stuff like that. Yeah. So for me, like when I went to go see, you know, um, Chance the Rapper, I went to go see okay. uh, at, a, what was it, like to do for Blink-182, um, they had Sean Paul there, bro, Sean like they Paul. had like, um, there's so many different artists. They had two chains. This one, two chains was in a uh, wheelchair because oh. he broke his leg. Oh. Yeah, yeah, bro. So it's like you was performing. Yeah, yeah, he had his wheelchair, bro. That man's a trooper, bro. That man's a trooper. Because he's like, you know what? I'm about to still get paid, baby. Like, yeah, facts. You know? But um, yeah, man. Like yeah. for me, it depends on like who's who's headlining. But I've been to a few different, uh, a couple different concerts out in Oklahoma. Life is beautiful was my favorite in Vegas. Um, I've always wanted to go to like South by Southwest though. That's like oh, my next one I want to go to. Yeah, like, bro. Whatever they open stuff back up. Yeah, you know, so. bro. I was going to South by Southwest, bro. Yeah. Last year actually on May. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Everything I should Actually, down. the last time I was in California, what was it? Uh, last December. Yeah. I was in LA when they had uh, Rolling Loud. And they had, uh, I think it was a Cardi B was out there. Yeah. And everything was all packed up. And I was I asked the Uber driver, I was like, yo. Why is it so packed? It's always it's rolling loud and Cardi B's here. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Uh -huh. I, I didn't go because I was going to NFL game. Uh -huh. But if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't go see. You know, I would go see Cardi B. Yeah, so, who'd you go see? Um, it was uh, the Rams versus the Eagles. Uh, okay. Yeah, Rams lost that game. Eagles, Eagles won that. But, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say um, I didn't get I didn't get like into music like that. Just barely like three, four years ago, I was really just poetry writing. Mm -hmm. And then once I really, you know, thought, you know, maybe I'm, I'm gonna put it over beats now. Now that I found, I found my writing. Exactly. I got my writing on lock and shit. Man, and like I said, for me, music wasn't like my first thing. Poetry was. Yeah. Literally, my when I was in high school, my scholarship for college was for literary writing and poetry. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So, um, at, but actually, I went to school for writers, um, for writers from the heart. Yeah, exactly, right? bro. If you can't go wrong. So. Um, I went to school for avionics, which is planes. Which one? For planes, like airplanes. Oh, okay. That's what I went to college for. Oh, okay. But originally, I was going to, um, they told me I could go to any literary college, but I ended up going to Spartan in uh, Oklahoma University. Yeah. For aviation, so. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, bro, even like when I was a kid, Freaking my one of my teachers, oh write write an essay, make up your own story. Mm -hmm. I'm over here bullshitting, <laughs> inventing shit. She comes back, she's like, You're a great writer. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. And ever since then I'm like, shit, I can write anything. Bro, it's it, that's the thing, you know, art is um is purely subjective. You know, it's it's all about the artist. Yeah. You know, one one man's trash, another man's trash. Yeah, but yeah, but so. you know, um, art's really independent of the artist, so you know, somebody might see someone, oh, that's not art. But hey, there's abstract art for a reason, man. Yeah. So, you know. And so I've gotten that from like writing to like fucking painting to like doing graffiti on walls so, and shit. Like people would always just come and like compliment, man, compliment me on on like just whatever. But honestly, I never got, I never felt that confidence. Maybe because you know, people never really looked up to art like that, exactly. and they don't like motivated like that yeah. and to me and for me i need at least like my mom telling me i'm doing good to mm. like be like all right fuck it i'm doing good you know man, you know it's um it's it's hard man like you know everybody it's it's hard when you don't have support but the fact is man i've learned that when it comes to support people are going to support you it's going to be unconditional yeah you know and and i and the fact is i have people that support me that i don't even know you know and that's like that's 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 the um, objective, I guess you would say, when it comes to fans. Yeah. You don't know all of them. Some people may, may, may like your music, but you don't know them, you know? Yeah. But they know you from your music. So for yeah. me, it's just kind of like, um, I, I appreciate everybody listening to my music. And I, and I if they ever mention me, hey, your song's great, whatever, and I'm definitely gonna shoot back and be like, yo, I appreciate the support, keep supporting me, thanks for the love. And I'm gonna tell them always that, because the fact is, without the people that support me, I'm not gonna get to where I wanna be in this business. So, I definitely yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, it's just, 
that that's one thing that kind of like got me with confidence is like if I'm supporting other people yeah. and then I'm realizing that I'm kind of like not in a cocky way mm -hmm. but just feeling myself yeah. being oh I can make music better than him but that's mm -hmm. only because I'm expressing my myself yeah. you know yeah. like that's just, that's just that that's like I don't know that's just like one one way I can like use to fucking keep writing keep like coming up with new shit keep like you know and so that's that goes to my other question being like you know what like to invent whatever you want to invent or like come up with whatever style like what like how would you look at your stuff would you consider it as like a style or like you know like break down um, your music put it into a genre um, I would I would say hip hop and R and B, but yeah. as far as like I guess the um, I would say storytelling, I would say inspirational, and I would say um, I got vibes, man. Yeah, I got yeah. vibes. So, people you know, gotta, you know, so it's, it's yeah. like you know I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a groovy cat that way, to where I can still have the storytelling, I can still have the you know um, the inspiration with a song, but also make it to where it's. It's not. It doesn't sound like too preachy. Yeah. You know, you don't want to get too too preachy with your uh, your your music because the fact is, it's still gonna be easy on the ears. Yeah. You know, it's just like when you was a kid, and um, you know, that's the reason they started making flavored medicine because yeah. you know, if it was cherry or grape, it's gonna taste a lot better than the chemicals they was giving you. Yeah. So you know, with the medicines, you gotta give some people sometimes. You just gotta make sure that it's uh, it tastes good going down. So. Yeah. So honestly, you know, like for people, for people to understand you better, mm -hmm. like what what type of like this is what I'm trying to do, like break you down as an artist and as mm -hmm. a, as a person. That way, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. after people watch this video, exactly. if they if they recognize you in the street or like yeah. you know if they meet you somewhere, yeah. I want them to come approach you with that yeah. same with that same same like yeah. you know yeah. same mentality. Like I don't. I think um, you know, man, for me, it's just. Mutual respect. Mutual respect. I respect anybody that you know is on their hustle like you. You on your hustle, I'm gonna respect. I'm gonna respect you. You know, yeah. if someone the next dude's making music, I'm gonna respect you. Yeah. But when it comes to music specifically, um, I, I have a, I have a, a, such a, um, a love for music, and there's a lot of people that um, that disrespect it. Yeah. That don't treat music the way that it should be treated. Yeah. Or the people that appreciate them like their fans. And so, you know what sucks, bro? Like some people that don't respect music are making music and exactly. art in our ears sometimes. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So for me, it's like you know, I'm pretty easy, man. Like I, I ain't you know, I ain't got no static with no. I got, I got, I appreciate people that appreciate me. Exactly. And I ain't got a problem with you. You ain't got a problem with me, yeah. man. You have a good time. You come say what's up, with what? Yeah, what's good, bro? Have a good night. Have a good day. Yeah. Stay blessed. It's all know? love on our side, bro. Exactly. Like, that's good. But, Man, I, like I said, I ain't no standoffish person. Like yeah. I smile all the damn time. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Like it's you simple. know, I ain't gotta flex and act hard. Yeah. Nah, man, I bust your head, but I ain't, I ain't gotta live like that, yeah. bro. Cause you, you know like I bust that. your head just by looking live. at me, right? Exactly. Like, I ain't gotta live like that, bro. Yeah. So it's like you know, in certain spaces, if I need that energy, I got that energy. But like I said, you respect me, I'm respect you as a person. Facts. But we gonna have a good, a good interaction. Facts, bro. So. And so, damn, I think I'm gonna end it there. Okay. You know, thanks for thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, thanks of course, for being bro. a friend. Thanks of for course, being bro. an artist to the people. Of course, bro. Thanks for you know expressing yourself. Yeah. You know, some, some like, people might like not have that. And like I said, man, like I said, for anybody that likes that looks to my music, the only thing that I want is for you to feel that you had an experience, an insight of who I am, and what I'm trying to accomplish. Like I said, it's the Willie Graves on Instagram. The Willie Graves. On every platform, like I said before, if you don't like it, somebody will. But if they don't, the next person will. Like I said, your uncle, your grandma, your auntie, they mess with her. Why don't you? It's a real question. I'm going to check that Stay shit tuned. out. I'm going to check that shit out. All right, bro. man. Stay easy, bro. I'm going to show you some love. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. Be on the lookout for this man and man out here hustling. <laughs> if you ain't doing your thing, if you ain't waking up in the morning to ask what you do to be a better person, take your ass back to sleep. Let's go.